everybody how you doing this is Glenda with Freelands and Friends we are home from the day but I did do some recording and so what I thought was valuable for you to see so I hope you enjoy there's some nice scenery look at the green crops are coming up last year so much was lost to flooding This year, we're actually getting crops. I don't think it was quite so bad here as it was in Kansas. Kansas, around, well, from Marysville on down to Tuttle Puddle, Tuttle Creek, it was just, it, farmland was just covered all over the place. But here we are. are greening up. I was telling Joe I haven't seen a lot of wheat this year. So I'm going to see some batches. It should start getting getting the tops on it and starting to ripen out. Because it's usually harvested in June up here. But I haven't even seen any. I guess they've got mostly corn. Okay. Cows. <laughs> we are headed up for my CT scan. They'll probably give me that dye stuff today. Which makes my mouth, uh, gives that weird taste in my mouth. Kind of almost a metallic taste. Uh. Some of those plants are blooming. Or maybe they've bloomed and they're starting. <laughs> I like the color of those. They've got some really nice, they've got a water feature over there. Done with the appointment. Now I come back tomorrow. Well, I'm done with, they did the CT scan, now I come back tomorrow. I thought well, they would do contrast, but they didn't. Uh, I didn't have to have any blood work ahead of time, so. Yes, glad to get rid of those masks. Huh? Well, that was a day. <laughs> the um, CT, as far as I know, went fine. I They ran me through twice. There wasn't any contrast. So they didn't put any, you know, IV in. Anyway, the only thing is those, those things are so uncomfortable. It depends sometimes on on who's doing it, but they're supposed to be ergonomically shaped for the body, but I don't know. It just was really catching me in the wrong places today. But it was short. It didn't take long. And we've been home. I mean, it's it's bedtime. <laughs> we've been home. I just, I took a long nap because I was pretty well worn out and sore by the time we got home. Because I took a couple of ibuprofen for my back this morning, but they didn't seem to do any good. A nap seemed to help better. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> oh dear, that word. I'm still kind of tired. Which isn't surprising. I mean, I hadn't been having that much activity for a while. But I got it done, and like usual it really wasn't as frightening as I was making it out in my head to be so I mean everybody was wearing masks and everybody used the sanitizer well we took our own little bottle of sanitizer I actually forgot mine and Joe had a little bottle with him in the car <laughs> thank goodness because it was the perfect size and so and we had our wheelchair and so 
everything just went pretty smooth. We even had to uh, have her put my new my new card in the system for my advantage plan, although it's still secondary. Six feet rule was applied quite nicely, and I was very happy to show you the greening up of the fields and the trees and just I guess it it's means a lot to me because I haven't been out there for a while to see all that. The last time I was the trees were still kind of sparse except for the cedars and pines so I love you. We'll see you tomorrow. We're going to make another trip. We're going to go up and see the pulmonologist and then we'll find out what they saw on my CT scans. So that's going to be it for that. I guess I'll have to tell you about that tomorrow. And be sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Click that notification bell. And do be in prayer. One of the other channels uh, lost a fur pet or a, a fur, fur family friend. I'll just put it that way. They have a very large following, and that's fine. But you know how if if you've got a fur baby, or if you've got a member of your family that's been there for 14 years, and they're you know been a ball of fur and, and happiness all those years, it it can be devastating. So if you could be in prayer for. CTFXC Charles and Allie then that it's been a hard road for the last few days and we will see you tomorrow I love you please do you give I, I said that already <laughs> I am so tired we'll see you tomorrow love you all good night mm -hmm.